fans, it's Tammy. I am here with Hopper. Hopper is one of Molly and Miko's um, mini F1 Aussie Doodles. Hopper is just a fantastic little guy. He is a traditional tricolor. He's absolutely beautiful. He has the white blaze, the white on his muzzle. I love his little white collar. My favorite part about Hopper's coat is he has this ticking. Um, these brown little like freckles in his white kind of on his muzzle and then on his paws. It's so cute. It's really kind of a unique look for a, a tricolor Aussie Doodle. So it's really fun. He has that wonderful F1 coat. The F1 coat for Doodles is my favorite coat. It's so soft and so lush and it just feels so nice. It's a little lower maintenance than some of the coats that are a little curlier where they get more poodle in them. So you still get that benefit of reduced shedding, but you don't have that curl that mats so easily. So Hopper is still available. Um, so some lucky family is gonna be able to add Hopper to their family without a long wait, which is so fun and just really kind of, kind of nice to be able to offer once in a while. Um, because usually you have such a long waiting list and just right now to be able to just decide you want a puppy and add a puppy is a great thing. Hi buddy. So Hopper is a very confident, happy puppy. Um, he's not overly dominant. He's never like guarding the food bowl or hogging all the toys, but he's also not submissive. I mean, he's pretty fearless. He's pretty happy, pretty confident. Uh, he's a lot like his mom. She's really happy, playful, loving, but always ready for any adventure and then calms down and is easy going in the house. What? What? So Hopper is just a great guy. They have, like I, like we talked about last week, they had their vet checks and they all did really well with that. Um, they've had a couple nail trims. They've actually, I think, had three nail trims. They've done really well with that. They've had their first baths and did really well with that, tolerated it well. They kind of thought that was a little bit fun once they got over the shock of being soaking wet, huh? So these guys are gonna be really great family dogs. Both parents are just really good dogs. They're both easygoing, more easygoing than is typical for their breed, so that's always nice. But they're also both very active and ready for adventure. Huh. Did you wash your belly? But Hopper's always greeting you with a smile and kisses. He's always happy to see his people. He loves to hang out outside the playpen and just kinda be with his people. <laughs> Did I find your spot? But you can see he's just easy peasy. Easy peasy, huh? Yeah. But one of the best things about getting an awesome doodle puppy is a little protocol that Tom has set up for us to start at six weeks. And what we do is we work on a calm sit. So a puppy's normal reaction when they come up to you and they want your attention, he knows you're too smart, is they jump on you and paw at you. Um, and we want to counteract that. We want them to come up and sit down. So we've only been working on this for a little less than a week and you can see how quickly they learn. So we're not gonna push their bottom down. We're not going to tell them to sit, but when it happens naturally, we start giving treats and we give them pretty quickly at first, um, for quite a while actually, until we really reinforce that behavior. But you can see just how quickly they get it and how smart they are. So I'm using a little bit of all beef hot dog. Sometimes I'll use a little leftover rotisserie chicken without the skin or a little bit of um, a grilled chicken breast with no, no um, seasoning. You just want it to be something that they really want, something that's very desirable so that you're really reinforcing that behavior. We do this twice a day for three to five minutes and we recommend that you consider continue that at home. What? So this little behavior does a couple things. The first thing it does is it teaches your puppy that good behavior brings good things. It also teaches them that you are the giver of good things. And those are both really important lessons for your puppy to learn. Huh. Usually I do this in the bathroom, but today we just had an open room, so I thought I'd do it in here. Wherever you do it, you want it to be a nice, quiet room. You don't want TVs playing or radios blaring or people wanting in and out, wandering in and out, because you really want to capture your puppy's attention. You really want them focused on you and just not a lot of distractions. And you want to make it a positive experience. Huh. Which hot dogs make everything a positive experience for puppies, huh? 
But we hope if you are considering an Aussie Doodle, you will give us a call or a message about Hopper because he would love to get his own family soon and he's going to make someone a very, very happy family. <laughs> you know where the hot dogs are. You're too smart. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good week.